And the Brits once more over it. And it's off the bar. PSG so close to taking the lead, and now they do. And of course, it's her, their all time record goal scorer. She is so clinical in those positions. Marie Antoinette Katoto gives Paris Saint Germain the lead in Germany. 1 0. Defensively, great ball in, so difficult to defend. Diani gets the first touch, I think, and it's just Katoto, she's waiting just for that extra yard, a little bit of space, anticipation, and then when the ball does eventually come to it, finishes it so well, high into the net, no chance. I think they, they, they understand it's an away game and they're 1-0 up and they don't need to push it. Baltimore. Well, they pushed it there. And she's done it again. Marie Antoinette Katoto gives Paris Saint Germain a two goal advantage at Bayern Munich. One or two set plays. And Katoto rises highest. And it's a really, really good header. She knows exactly what she's doing, just guiding the ball over the pressure that's coming towards her. Gets it on target. Goalkeeper's been committed. And she gets there first. Votikova has dealt with everything that Bayern have thrown at her this evening. Will she deal with this from ball? No, she won't. And Bayern Munich do have that precious goal back in this quarter-final. Jubilation for the home fans at the Allianz Arena. Votikova is beating. You know, if they have laces and boots nowadays, but that's a great strike. Goalkeeper sees it late, you can see here, just comes through some bodies. She tries to react, but the power on it is just too much for her. She gets something on it, but Bull brings them back into it. Here's Pateas again. Loose ball finds Gonzalez. She's got to go on her own. There's an option to her left. Will she shoot? She does. Olga Carmona has scored for Real Madrid against all the odds. It's the home side who strikes first. Relax Barcelona the way that they play. They give the ball away and straight away there's a Real Madrid player on the ball. It's a brilliant play there by Gonzalez. She holds it well. Terrific finish, and it's, the defending is not very good. I mean, they don't have to do that much defending Barcelona in the games that they do play. But when you do get the ball in front of goal, you have to make sure it's on target. And Carmona did that. She held a nerve cool in front of Panos and tucked it away. And Pateas steps up. One-one. A perfect penalty from a perfect player. Alexia Puteas makes it all level for Barcelona. Barcelona was perfectly put away by Alexia Puteas. Yeah, she did well there, Puteas. She waited until the goalkeeper's looking at the goalkeeper making the move. And it takes nerves of steel to do that. And I think there was a. Claudia Pina. She's got plenty of options, decides to go for Graham Hansen. Gets away from Svava. Now Bonmati. And Pina! 2-1 to Barcelona! They were knocking on the door for much of the second half. Pina there, and just completely overloading. They're just running out of steam. Real Madrid. Graham Hansen just picks the right pass in the end. Comes back to Pina, what a terrific finish that is. And they, they tried to hold out and have more of the possession in this second half, more of the chances. Just needed that clinical edge, and that's exactly what Pina had. Now Mosso. 
Over the top here for Giharo now. Alexia Puteas could make it 3-1. And she does. Her second goal of the evening. Barcelona extend their lead. 20 minutes or so. And just caught out, out quite out of shape at the back there, Real Madrid. And as soon as Pateas gets it in front of goal there, there's only one outcome, one on one. She knows exactly what she's going to do. And that's hard on Real Madrid, but that just shows the quality of Barcelona and just keeping on going. Boatin. Intercepted here by Carpenter. Sliding challenge. Took it away from her momentarily. Macario is up there, though, for Leon. And Carpenter with the cross. Basher with the ball in, and the header's in. Just over seven minutes on the clock. And it's Macario who gives Leon the lead in Turin, the club's top scorer. A lot of pressure happened near the opening minutes of this game, and Juventus just couldn't get rid of the ball. And it's a searching cross, but still. Juventus defender couldn't get out and stop the cross coming back in and terrific header in the end right in the corner it has to go there that's the only way that they're going to beat Piero Mannion terrific header but they've shown lots of glimpses of pressure in the opening minutes of this game and exactly where Juventus wouldn't want to be concede early it's just the sheer firepower that they have Leon Bonansea Gamma four in the box for Juventus Lundorf. Oh, it's been spilt. And turned in! It's an equaliser! Scored by Girelli! How they needed that! How they've responded to the red card shown to Carpenter. They're making the most of it. I think that there's a foul on the goalkeeper. I think that that's gone out of play. I don't think he did, but it's a terrific cross. But the goalkeeper is out of her hands. That's what I don't think she had it in her hands. I'm not sure that that went out. She dropped it just to allow Caruso to get in there, but it's a terrific finish in the end. By Girelli. Rena. Look at this, they've got five forward here, Juventus. On to falling behind was brilliant! And what an introduction! Just off the bench, and Bonfantini has put Juventus in front. The run, you see the run there, Bonfantini, she was onside and she still had to finish it though. So the quality of the ball and the quality of the finish turned this game absolutely on its head. And credit to Juventus, they've stayed in this game a while. Ever it was 1-0, I said it a few times in the first half. Leon put themselves at risk of conceding goals and what a goal that is from the substitute. Difference maker. Ball still alive here. Rauch with the ball in. Couldn't quite find the feet of a Wolfsburg player. Ball comes back in again and there's Wasmuth with the header. There she is again. Wolfsburg strike first. Here at the Arsenal Stadium. It has been a pretty open game so far. In this area of the pitch as well, I mean, the one-two pass, you know, who'd almost gets a touch in there, and then again, the cross finds a player directly in between, you know, two players. I think it's Beth Mead and Leah Williamson, so she's standing fairly open. So I think Arsenal will, you know, probably take a look at that defensive play as well and be a bit disappointed. And they know that they have to watch Moss move. She's been incredible, especially in the Champions League. I mean... It is Tobin Heath, takes it short, what a my! There's the equaliser! <laughs> what a brilliant free kick from Arsenal! Tobin Heath with a perfect delivery, and what a my! Gets the equaliser for the home side! What a fantastic stop by Wobben Moy as well. Whether it was meant to go to her or not, that was an incredible read on the play, just to be in the right place at the right time, have that composure turn and smash it in there.
That's a great finish. Great finish by Wilbur Moy. So.